Economists think there's more to national protests than meets the eye, but rather it's a combination of social injustice, a disproportionate health effect from COVID-19, and an economic toll taken on African Americans. The Hill reports that health officials and financial experts have previously warned about how black Americans and other minority groups are facing a higher number of mortalities and economic issues related to the pandemic. Add to that recent cases of African Americans dying from police force, such as George Floyd in Minneapolis, which has seen widespread demonstrations. And Trayvon Logan, an Ohio State University economics professor, telling The Hill, quote, it would be impossible to divorce the protests that are going on now from larger economic forces. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says its data shows a disproportionate burden of coronavirus is affecting racial and ethnic minority groups. Citing the COVID tracking project, The Hill says that in cases where race is known, 24 percent of COVID-19 deaths were African Americans, despite making up 13 percent of the country's population. The higher number of of cases aren't due to genetics, but rather, as the CDC concludes, stem from social and economic conditions, such as a lack of health insurance, underlying health conditions, living conditions, and work environments that lack paid sick leave or jobs that can't be done remotely. This can lead to a harsher economic toll. As The Hill reports, the Economic Policy Institute issued a recent report showing that African Americans had an unemployment rate 2.5 points greater than whites and roughly five times less in cash reserves heading into the shutdown. Gabanga Ajalor Lore, senior economist at the Center for American Progress, tells the outlet that state and local budgets that could have focused on financial aid and recovery from the pandemic could be diverted to policing and cleanup efforts from protests that turn violent and destructive.